Now, what is interesting? And understand that many of these things develop kind of like it seemingly naturally, because what happens, how these things develop in our societies, through watching human behavior, and then whatever the human will buy, you'll sell to them. I mean, so it was the inevitable development that you will be getting to a point where what is being sold will be direct to the point. Very effective. And now you have the ultimate point where word of mouth through the cell phone has become one of the most powerful selling points in existence. Not the advert going through the cell phone. The chat between them is where products now sell. So, the moment of influence becomes very short and needs to be very effectively directed symbolically in, through impulsing so that in the few moments that there is to impulse a child, they must be impulsed. Therefore, your movies the television has become very advanced mechanisms of transmitting vast volumes of information that particularly support particular products in existence that keeps you occupied within a particular mindset and which you then keep yourself in through your basic communication. All the words, schooling, it's all become an integrated system of impulsing that keep your heart beat at exactly the rhythm. That means keeps your behavior exactly at the level of control where you will never change the world for instance. You'll accept the system. The only time that you will question the system is when your life fails in every way and you can't find a way to get money. Otherwise, you will not change. That's guaranteed for everyone in existence. Now, in terms of the delivery system of the cell phone, the main important thing was a stable signal. The problem of a stable signal was that due to your atmospheric forces and so on, the satellite is not a very effective tool to transmit. As you know, we've got satellites here, as you notice, even with the internet, it is intermittent. To have a good signal, they put up towers everywhere. And to make sure the tower do not bother you, or do not influence you and seems as natural as possible, they are hidden as trees. You won't even notice if you don't know where to look, where's your cell phone towers? They are all around you, in your neighborhood, hidden as trees. And this cell phone towers is the primary point of communication. But the research has gone so advanced that it is understood how to impulse you at an electromagnetic level, that means activating the symbolism within you to keep you passive. How is that done? In the research of human behavior, it was obviously noticed that you always have a rebellious group that tend to want to go their own way. I mean, the hippies in the 60s is a very good example of that, where they, with the love and they want to change the world. The point was then to see, okay, what was the point that was used in the 60s by the hippies? Love. So how, the question was, how can love be used to become the primary pacifying factor which you can impulse electromagnetically 
and thus keep the being always at the level where they will move back to that, where they will not question. They will question but inevitably end their conversation with that word, which means they will not act. And you can watch how many beings are doing that. It's fascinating. They will end with that word in all their conversations. They will talk sense. And then they go to love. They never act. It's become the ultimate control word. Have a look. All your stores, television, school. You go into any place you want to buy something, what do you see? It's become the primary. And what is it linked to? Love. It's linked to? Pulse, isn't it? How? It's linked to? To a heart. <laughs> and it's linked to? Control of what? One simple system running with one word and that word could control what else? The complete future of humanity as evolution. As you have evolved already through this manipulation of behavior, through impulsing. Now this is happening within you at the level of your cells which then all carry different charges. Every impulse is stored within you, in your cells, just in a, if you look at quantum mechanics in terms of multi-dimensions, every impulse is a different dimension. That dimension has a particular frequency or charge that has got many possible ways to activate. According to that activation, all that happens is one slowly but surely impulse, a generalization of the activation of a particular point and you lock the being down. Now what is fascinating is that nobody can nobody can hear because your heart is locked down as a pulse through love and evolution through impulse. And therefore, no matter what you say you're going to do, you're always going to act on impulse. Have a look how many times did you make a decision, and when you get to the final point, you do the opposite. You don't push it through. 